Ladies, what was the moment you realized that the guy you were dealing with literally did not perceive you as a human being? He went from very sweet with well thought out dates to just demanding I take his loads and called me filthy things along those lines. It's always interesting and sad to see how the crappy ones flip a switch after they're done putting in the effort to woo you. Despicable. When I was in high school, I volunteered in the library to shelve books on my off period and lunch period. When I was a sophomore, a guy who was a senior started chatting me up. At first he would help me shelve. Then he got more pushy about coming to have lunch with him and I had a BF at the time. When the librarians put their foot down that he wasn't allowed to help cause he was putting all the non-fiction in the wrong spots. He threatened to make it look like I was shelving wrong to get me fired from my favorite part of the school day and he presented taking away the thing I loved so he could have access to me as romantic. Gotta love the stalker vibes on that one. Absolutely gross. So calculating about it. Wow. When I was losing my virginity to him and crying because it hurt and he said who cares. Keep going. The guy I lost my virginity to at the time seemed really caring but in hindsight, nope. He kept shushing me because I was being too loud with my pain. He didn't want a neighbor to hear. He also wanted to do different positions to help your V get used to it, which Looking back, is bull, lmao. He was surprised later when I said, made a joke with singing I just had sex, and it felt like shit. Like bruh, did you not pay attention to my wincing? When I had a miscarriage and he couldn't be bothered to go to the hospital with me. When I found out there was no heartbeat he came home hours later talking about his hunting plans. OMG. Are you okay now? Yes. We broke up less than two weeks later. Looking back I realized he never respected me, and while I'm still very sad about my loss, I'm grateful I'm not tied to that man for the next 18 years. I suppose there's the silver lining. When he keeps on saying he wants to rape me, road trip, ladies, we are going to the police to report that shit. Take me with yap f this asshole. He doesn't deserve a woman. Made this on an alt account because he knows my main and idk if he's still stalking it anyway he called me his little chinese f doll we were not in a relationship but it was so gross and honestly kind of out of left field because he was really kind and civil before that this scares me because a lot of kind and civil people are actually so weird when you get to know them when he forced me to take a taxi to the hospital alone to watch my mother die while I was 8 months pregnant with his child and then sent me nasty messages while I sat by her bedside watching her take her final breaths. His reason, he believes I was screwing a male friend of mine while I was heavily pregnant and visiting the hospital twice daily to watch my mother slowly die of hepatorenal syndrome. Probably the most inhumane thing anyone has ever done to me. Absolutely awful. I'm sorry you had to endure that at such an emotional and difficult time. Did he turn out to be a cheater? Cause this s sounds like classic projection to me. I asked him what his favorite animal was. He said women. Literally what the fuck. When I was hemorrhaging massively. 10 days after the birth of our third child and he wouldn't get off the phone. It was pre-mobile phone days. To call an ambulance. Eventually he ended his phone call. But then refused to call for an ambulance. Or hold the baby. So I could do it. I ended up crawling to where the phone was, clutching the baby to my chest, while he sat in the kitchen having a cigarette. I was in hospital a week. He dumped our other two children with his mother, got my friend over to clean up the blood mess in our house, and then slept with her. I'm incredulous that I'd put up with him for 14 years. That's horrible. Surely there is some laws against that. It feels like neglect, but I think that's just for parents with kids. I hope you got out of that situation, and are doing better. Thank you. Yes I did, although it took another 3 years to get away, and about another 5, before he stopped harassing and threatening me. I'm doing fine now, and am much less of a wimp than I used to be. He was seriously trying to choke me, until I passed out. I never even gave the all clear, to choke me at all, when I pried his arms away, so I wouldn't f die. He said I was ruining the whole experience. Apostrophe. This happened to me. Too. 
thankfully on a much less aggressive level, but it shouldn't have happened period. It triggered my PTSD. When I was on my period, and had the flu so was out of commission in two holes is how he phrased it. The third was not an option for me, so he got really angry about that, and then spent like 45 minutes complaining about not getting a hand job, while I had a fever, and was just miserable. Not once did he acknowledge that I was sick in a supportive way, just that it ruined sex for us that week. Please say X. Please say X. Oh yes. Many many years ago. Cheers to leaving gross dudes in the dust. We were chatting in the days leading up to our first date. He absolutely refused to accept the fact that I wasn't going to have sex with him on the first date. Like he just kept talking about how great it was going to be. Phew. Love when they out themselves immediately. When he, an ex, thank god, said he won't call me affectionate names. Because I'm his private porn star like. What does it even mean? It means sex objects don't deserve affection. And being affectionate would break his fantasy. Gross. The owners at my last job. I went to one of them crying. After working a 14 hour shift. Because someone no showed. After working 8 days in a row straight. And all he said was I expected you to have this more under control. Apostrophe. OMG them. How are you doing now? You couldn't possibly have it more under control what do you even expect when someone comes crying to you after working 14h. Leave if you haven't. Unbelievable. Yeah. I quit pretty soon after that. Doing much better now. He felt the strings of my IUD when we were having sex and immediately demanded that I get it taken out. The absolute. Off the charts. You exist to pleasure me. Attitudes of so many men is thoroughly disgusting. Then they constantly complain. Why me can't get woman? Why woman prefer be single instead? Why her say? Don't threaten me with a good time. When me tell her she will be cat slash dog lady. In my former's workplace. Whenever the women of the group were discussing Saz's concerns and harassment. He would laugh. He found it funny. Like really laughing. When the lesbian of the group told very distressed the moment a homeless guy was drunkenly trying to punch her and insulting her for just seeing her lunching with her wife. He seemed to enjoy randomly stopping conversations of the girls to spew about how men are much physically stronger than women. Only seemed to stop the moment someone said that he had no chance against a gun. When my former tutor acted borderline inappropriate and sent a very disturbing message. Guess who not only thought I was lying and even tried to convince our boss of the same. Are you really sure he said that? I think you are just being too sensitive. I remember that Kawalker saying, the moment I showed the message directly, our boss was genuinely shocked and helped to change my tutor, and they were close friends. I would say to always pay attention to your guts, and how do you feel in their presence, if it never gets better, in case you're unsure, if it's just nervousness. Prepare to sprint to far away, or change what you can. Because in my experience, it only got worse. My nephew, who was like a son to me, committed suicide at age 19. My ex was close to him also, we had been together roughly 12 years at this point. We got a frantic call from my mom at 4.30am, to go to my sister's house. We were close by, because something was wrong with Zach. Panic ensues and we just take off for my sister's house. Upon arrival, police and ambulance and a very chaotic scene. He was hanging in a tree outside my sister's apartment. This was very traumatic. Something no one ever needs to see. Anyway about 6 months after the event, I had gotten out of bed and went outside on my porch. Comma. 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 To cry. Grief. Comma. Comma. You know. He comes out maybe 5 minutes behind me and says, Are you crying? WTF is wrong with you now? That just made me cry harder. Then he says, You need to get over that shit. Ain't nothing you can do about it now. I had spent the year prior with him, while he lost his uncle, and then his mother. I was there through everything supporting him, and his reaction to me losing someone was that. He's a pig. He's still a pig. That man needs psychiatric help for his inability to handle emotions. I'm so sorry for your loss. Don't ever let anyone make you believe you don't deserve to feel your feelings. I learned my lesson with him. Thank you so much. 
He once told me he wished I was a robot, so we could have sex still, but I wouldn't have my emotions lol. WTF. I was talking to him about how his ex kept calling him, and it was upsetting me, and he basically was saying that women would be so much better without their emotions or mayo. I'm real tired of men using the facts and logic argument, rather than deal with hard things. Some of the most emotional winnie child men I've known would try to shut me down with well I just prefer to think about this logically. No you don't dude. You're pissy and ignorant. And scared you might be wrong about something. They think that because they aren't aware of their emotions. They aren't emotional. When the doctor came in and told me that our baby was in distress and I needed to have an emergency section to save our lives. He huffed and puffed about it saying he had been waiting 24 hours for me to give birth. When they asked him if he wanted to put some scrubs on to come in, and he decided to go home because his mummy was going to take care of him whilst he played sparks then. After I had our baby he told me I wasn't allowed to invite my parents or sibling, but traipsed his whole family in demanding to see and hold baby, including some random guy his mum was dating while I was recovering slash still unwell from the birth and crying as baby was really sick in Naku then he told me I had birthed his baby, so I needed to go get the baby from the Naku for him. Good lord. I'm so sorry. I hope you and baby are safe and healthy now. Seconded. An insul Kawaka being friendly, then shitting on all of us women to the less obvious gay slash B men he thought was safe. They turned around and warned all of us. He's a red pill misogynist and would say very alarming things. Love the restaurant industry, I still see him, and he constantly complains to mild kaokas, friends, and regulars how he doesn't understand why I'm such a jerk to him now. I have a script in place if he tries to get me to serve him ever, and I've warned the new girls at my old place because we're all pretty cool. Love when people get consequences for what they say behind closed doors. I asked him to please stop blasting his music in my car because I was driving through a literal tropical storm and needed to focus on the road to pick his drunker up from a bar, no less. He responded by punching my windshield and shattering it, then told me how dumb I was for not being able to drive in a tropical storm with his FUT and the blowfish destroying my eardrums. I really hope he's not doing well in life tbh. What the f. I wish I was making this up. This was 7 years ago, and I've since found someone else, gotten married, and started a family, as well as my own business. I'm doing so much better than I was back then. He still makes a new social media account every year or two, so he can message me profanities and pick fun at my life. It's pathetic. Honestly, I'm glad you are doing well. That guy deserves to have a tapeworm up his urethra. When he cheated while I was pregnant. After he begged for us to start a family. Apostrophe. This is a common story. As f backslash 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 ked up as it is. They want someone to give birth to their children. And continue their precious super special DNA. It's not. But have no respect for women. Exactly. And when I found out about this. He blames me. Says I made him feel unwanted. When he only backed out after me telling him I have a boyfriend. Instead of when I told him that I was not interested, he didn't respect me. He respected what I was to other male. This happens way too often and it's infuriating. I was taking some very intense short term, one month, medication that absolutely wrecked me. I was vomiting multiple times a day, unable to keep anything down, unable to sleep more than a couple hours at a time, and still going into work the 2 to 3 days a week I was able to get out of bed and still cleaning small things here and there when I had the energy. He tells me one day about 3 weeks in that I'm not doing enough around the house and the place is gross and I need to step it up. Never mind the fact that his friends that he moved in were absolute pigs and expected me to clean up after them all constantly. He also tells me that he's not happy with our bedroom life because I hadn't been putting out lately because I was vomiting constantly. After that talk it finally clicked that the weird feeling I'd had the few months prior was me realizing that in his eyes I was nothing more than a live in maid slash sex toy. God please say X. Please say X. Yes, X. My ex-husband 
told me out of the blue that he wanted a divorce and had been unhappy for two years, but hiding it from me during that time. I was shocked and wanted to try and pursue marriage counseling and or therapy at first. However, two weeks after the announcement he finally told me that he had been having a persistent delusion that I and others in his life weren't real people and that I was a projection of his subconscious that existed to punish him for his perceived transgressions. He knew it was a delusion and was not willing to seek therapy because he didn't feel it was impacting his life. I begged to differ but realize that you can't make someone want to get better or be in a relationship. Oh damn. There was a thread somewhere where a guy's wife had that happen to them. She thought everybody was fake and were just projections trying to change her. I can't remember, but it's an actual disease and I think it can be treated with heavy therapy. Over dinner a few weeks ago, my stepdad basically told me to my actual face that the most valuable thing about me is my ability to bear children. He stated it like it was simple fact. I had just said I don't like kids and I'm horrified at the prospect of becoming pregnant. Not to toot my own horn. But I'm a pretty brilliant molecular biology student. I intend to go into life saving research. I think that's the most valuable thing about me. Anyway, I just gestured at my younger brother, a brilliant physics student, and said, cool. So he's just a spunk bank, right? My stepdad got offended that I would talk about him that way, lol. Sorry you had to deal with that crap. He is a lot older than me, probably not the first thing that should have set alarm bells off, but I was saying I couldn't be with him anymore. I said something like, do you want me to stay with you and be miserable for the rest of my life? And his response was not for the rest of your life. Anyway trying to get a divorce now so worked out in the end. It's infuriating to me that these FKRS see everyone else's supporting characters to their lives. We don't exist in their minds as whole people. How does this happen? Is it innate or how they are raised? I would assume it's how they are raised, but omg how are there soo many of them like this? My grandma had passed away. Her funeral was held a few hundred miles away from the base I was stationed at. I figured I'd just drive over for the weekend to attend her funeral and then come back. It was a few dozen miles outside of what was acceptable to travel without taking leave. So I went to my supervisor to ask if I could take leave and he said the mission needs you more than your dead grandma does, thereby denying my request for leave. I went anyway, but it was one of the reasons I decided not to continue that career path. My grandma passed, and I had to take the red eye that night across the country. I literally had two hours to pack and prepare for this trip. I asked my BF at the time if would mind picking up some tequiat and bringing it over as I had zero time to cook anything and was starving. Additionally I felt a warm hug and kiss goodbye would make me feel better. He got angry at me for even suggesting he go out of his way after a long day of work to do me this favor and called me selfish for asking him to deviate from his drive home. He lived 15 minutes away. I continued to stay with this pose for another 3 years. This was just the tip of the iceberg. My male Indian roommate. The first time we met in person the first thing he said to me was what did you make for dinner when I reminded him that we all agreed to cook and clean up after ourselves and that I would not ever be cooking for him he said oh you were serious about that? He is the messiest man I have ever met, and any time I tell him that he needs to clean up his mess and just blue screens and acts all confused and has no idea what I'm talking about. But if I say there is a mess and don't specify that he made it, he'll just brush me off and tell me to clean it then. He was left alone in the apartment for a month because I and my other roommate went home to our families in December and got stuck there cause of COVID. He turned the place into a disgusting pigsty. There was at least 5 layers of grime everywhere. He put a bunch of his stuff in front of my door. There was rotten food and filthy dishes everywhere. The bathroom was by far the worst. And I cannot properly convey how revolting it was with words. He refused to acknowledge any wrongdoing. We took pics and sent them to his dad, who pays for everything. His dad called him and yelled at him to clean up but all he did was wash his dishes. I had to call a maid service it was so bad and he refused to pay for it. Infuriating man. The lease ends in 9 days. I'll be moving out. Honestly there's more. So much more. 
but this is already a really long comment. I thought it was when he insisted he be allowed to finish on my face on Christmas day, after I'd said I just wanted to go to sleep, but 3 months later, when he left me right after I miscarried, when I was scared and needed support, that's when I knew I wasn't even a real person to him. He left me with the bill to edit spelling 